Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground virtual tour. Whether you want to watch it on the Insta360 with the Oculus, or you can use your cell phone to look all around, or you just want to watch it the old school style on the GoPro Hero 11. We're going to visit Stephen F. Austin State Park, San Felipe, Texas. So let's gear up and get on the go. Stephen F. Austin State Park is one of three Texas state parks that features a golf course. And as you can see the beautiful green fairways over there. Stephen F. Austin State Park commemorates Stephen F. Austin's first colony and the town, San Felipe de Austin, was the, the first town formed by the Texicans who migrated here under charter from the Mexican government. So they had to immigrate to Mexico, give up their American citizenship and convert to Catholicism in order to receive land grants from Mexico. And San Felipe de Austin was the first town. It was actually one of the largest towns in the state of Texas up until the time of, or actually it was one of the largest town, um, Caucasian American immigrant towns uh, prior to the American, or the Texas Revolution, in, at which time it was burned. It was burned in the runaway scrape. All right, we're gonna visit the day use and tent camping loop, first and foremost. You see there's the nature center and they are geared up for a Halloween spooky adventure for the kiddos. The little kids are gonna be able to come out and trick or treat, I think. I know they got all kinds of spooky stuff set up to scare you. Now, if you're coming here in an RV, and you're early, they don't have a day use parking lot sufficient in size to accommodate an RV. This, these are all the day use area parking spaces. We got here early and she kind of said, you're lucky because, she didn't kind of, she did say, <laughs> you're lucky your side is open. Otherwise we have no place for you to park. This is the Bullinger Creek camping area. It is primitive camping. No power, community water. It's very peaceful here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. There's not a whole lot of road noise. Which if you've been following the channel, you know uh, I'm not a big fan of road They do have some pretty nice flush toilets and shower facilities if you are tent camping. Back into the day use area. 
we'll I'll pick up the speed a little bit because there's not much to really see here Stephen F. Austin State Park has a really great trail network I don't know how many miles but they've got a lot of hike and bike trails on my previous visit I spent most of one day running the scooter up and down all these trails I don't have oh there's a couple deer they were hanging out right there when we came in a little, little spike book Well, as you've seen, there's, there's lots of wildlife in this little campground, in this little state park. I guess it's not a little state park, it's pretty big. I'm not sure what size it is, but it's pretty big. They've had a, a tree trimming crew in here working since we got here tree next to our campsite they were cutting up has a beehive bee nest a bee colony living in it the beehive is the box you put them in the bees that are living that's the colony so we're gonna go to the right we're actually gonna make a full circle here in the screen shelter loop and then we will make another full loop in the tent camping area. But they are connected, and I'll clarify that in a moment. Now, here in the shelter loop, there is one air-conditioned cabin. It is number 20. Although, here at the end of October, you really wouldn't need a screen shelter, I mean, an air conditioner in the cabin. The screen shelter would be sufficient. It's a bit chilly right now. Our high is supposed to be like 68, 69 today. Just warm enough to run around in shorts and sandals. Okay, that goes over to the tent camping loop, but there's more shelters to view. Have a squeaky break. It's not a cricket following me around. Because if it was a cricket following me around, I'd, I'd already smashed him because he's driving me crazy. Okay, that's all of the shelter loop. Now we're gonna go check out the, I guess you would call it semi primitive or semi developed. They call it a tent area. So before we go into the tent loop, this is the restroom for both the, the tent area and the shelter area.
we, we got to run down here to that intersection so you can see all of the primitive sites here. There's a little trailhead up here. That's kind of the dividing line. Right here. That is the nature trail. All right, now we'll go check out the, the, the tempting loop. Most, uh, pretty much every site in this state park is flat. So, so getting level is not going to be a big challenge no matter what kind of RV you are traveling in. And vehicles are prohibited on the grass. And so these are pretty much, I think, all water only sites. We can go check out the full connection RV loop. And I'll I'll uh, I'll drive it twice. So you get to see both directions because it's a bi-directional road. Meaning both roads. Instead of going around, we'll go back to the front entrance. This road that we're on will loop around on the to the back side of the RV loop. And we are just, we just had to be camped right at the bottom of the U because it's a U-shaped loop. So uh, I won't be able to finish up. Well, I guess I can't finish up there. Well, 
odd number on this side, even number on this side. There is no 50 amp. It's all 30 amp, but you do have sewage. So if you're coming during the summer, make sure you put soft start units on your AC and you can run both AC on a 30. Unless, of course, that 30 amp breaker has been abused by somebody that's trying to run two air conditioners without soft start on the 30. That's bad on the breaker. seems to be several campground hosts, park hosts, unlike the last several sites we've been to, last several campgrounds we've been to, they were short on campground hosts. There's the Magnificent Trudy Thunder. And the tree shredding truck. There is a dump station, which is kind of, <laughs> if all your RV sites have a, are full connection, why do you need a dump station? I guess if you're camped out here in a van and you want to dump your tanks. <laughs> I like number 36. Of course, there's not really a bad sight in here. Now look, on our previous visit, we were right here where this reflection is. I really like that sight. Turn around and head back. You can see it from the other direction. The fire, I mean, the easy. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Campground host, right here. A little trailer, that, that's firewood. So the only other place I found to buy firewood is out by the freeway, and that dude was, he's proud of his wood. So it worked out to be about a dollar a stick, which is what they have here, but his sticks were quite a bit smaller.
down to 70. That has a good shot of the north sky for Starling, which has been a bit of a challenge here. As far as Starlink goes, site number one is probably going to be your best bet. And still you're going to have trees. All right. We're done. We are done. Is my hair frazzled? Yes, it is. But that's all right. And I don't have a cover, so I cannot give you proper respect. Anyway, if you found some value, please click on that thumbs up. That sure helps with the YouTube algorithm. And it surprises me to learn that 95% of y'all that are watching these videos are not subscribed. So please click on that subscribe button down there. That really helps. Gotta let the little gator go by. Make, making noise. Not an electric one. I need a muffler. Need to put a new muffler on there. We'll edit that out of the hero. There we go. All right. Well, 95% of y'all are not subscribed. It would really help if, it would, if you would click on that subscribe button. But for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why, that's why I'm back here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. We really appreciate your generosity. I cannot properly recognize you, but thank you so much. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?